My name is Ben. I'm the creator of Boris the Sloth, and I'm going to show you how to export a Unity project for Android Studio. So first we're going to go to File, Build Settings. I'm in Android Mode. I'm going to go to Player Settings first, and if I go to Publish Settings here, Publishing Settings, um, one thing you're going to need beforehand is just to have a key store already created. I was previously using this, uh, the Unity Android app bundle building um, until recently when I realized that it wasn't building support for Android 12. So that's why I actually go into Android Studio now and do that build there. So I already have the key store set up here. The other thing I'm going to check is if I go to other settings, I want this version here to be a unique version that I've never used before on the Google Play Store. So now that that's done, we can close this. So under the Android settings, I'm going to click Export Project and Export for App Bundle. You can see the rest of the settings here if you would like. Um, I don't think I actually changed any of these away from the default. So let's go to Export, and I'm going to choose this Android Build Boris Tutorial. This is just an empty folder that I've never used before, and you should just create an empty folder the other folders here just keep track of my previous released versions of the game. So let me just go ahead and select that. Now it's going to start building your project and exporting it from Unity. And this is actually a pretty quick project, uh, process, maybe just a few minutes. Okay, now my project has been exported, and if I open the Android Build Boris Tutorial folder, you'll see a bunch of files already there. Our next step is to open Android Studio. So now we're going to open Android Studio, and the first thing to look at is Tools, SDK Manager, and I'll go to System Settings, Android SDK, and you'll want to double check that you have the latest Android version. SDK installed, so at the time of making this video, it's Android 12, which I have installed. Now I'm going to go to File, New, Import Project, and I'm going to select the file of the project we just exported, which was Android Build Boris Tutorial. It's going to come up with an error about white space. I'm just going to say OK. And now it's going to scan the files and basically recommend some changes. So first one is use the project SDK or use the Android SDK. I actually always use the Android Studios SDK here. The next thing it's going to recommend is the Android Gradle plugin be upgraded. So it wants to upgrade from 4.0.1 to 7.0.1 and I'm going to do that upgrade. And it brings up this checklist. All of these things checked are going to be run when I do the upgrade. So we should run selected steps so that it can actually start the upgrade process. All right, so the upgrade process is complete. The next thing we need to do is we need to open the settings Gradle. Oh, sorry, the Gradle properties. And you'll see that there's a line android.enabled r8 equals false. This is actually no longer used, so we can delete that. If you don't delete it, it will throw an error when you go to build. The other thing you can check is you can check your manifest. So I went to Unity Library Manifest, Android Manifest. And if you have the latest Android 12 um, code, you can look for something under activity. And it is the android exported equals true. If you don't see this for activities, or it should also be on this receiver here, you can see it also has Android exported equals true, then you haven't upgraded your project and it likely won't work with Android 12, at least at the time of making this video. Since it's there, we can actually build the, the project now. So let's go to build, generate signed bundle APK. I'm going to do an Android app bundle next. And the key store path is something we just mentioned in the Unity part of the project. 
So we're going to choose the existing key store path. So for mine, I'm just going to navigate to my Unity project. This is my mobile version of the game, and this is the key store. So let's go ahead and get that. The alias is the name that I use inside the Unity application as well. And now I'm going to grab the uh, password that I have in my password manager. All right, so I have the password. for. I'm going to put it both places, and I'm not going to export an encrypted file here. I'll click Next. And this is where it's going to actually put the game files and we're going to select release because we want a release version and let's click finish and now it's going to run the gradle build and build the entire project so this might take a few minutes So now the Android project is completed and we can go look at the file path. So let's just open file path that we grabbed from the build window. If you go and click release, that is where your build is at now. And it's called launcher release. And I usually rename this to the game. So let's just rename it Boris the Slaw. And that's it. This is the file you're going to upload to the Google Play Store and um, this is the end of the video. Good luck.